As I'm sure you're aware, we issued a press release a couple of days ago re relative to a sex trafficking investigation we've been conducting over the course of the last nine months in the city of Utica uh, in conjunction with the Oneida County DA's office and the city of Utica Police Department. Um, our investigation revealed in February of this year a 16-year-old girl uh, who was a runaway was in the city of Utica. She was picked up by a taxi cab driver in the city um, who befriended her, bought her some clothing, bought her some personal items. Um, he was later identified as Mr. Jakeem Penn. Uh, his name was released in that uh, press release with the charges that uh, he was charged with at this time. Um, he introduced her to a uh, female by the name of Alexandra Duvall uh, for the purposes of uh, coercing her to engage in prostitution. Uh, Ms. Duvall later introduced her to uh, Lynette Tilden and her brother uh, Edward Tilden. Um, these individuals eventually did then coerce her into engaging into prostitution um, under the premise that she owed them money for providing uh, food and shelter to her. The two females, Tilden and Duvall, uh, they would advertise themselves along with this 16-year-old girl on the website Backpage.com. Uh, when they received inquiries, the individuals, Lynette uh, and Edward Tilden, along with uh, Alexandra Duvall, would set up dates, coordinate transportation, collect the money. Um, in, in addition to advertising in the Utica area, they were advertising all up and down the, uh, the East Coast, Albany, New York City, Massachusetts, uh, Virginia, Connecticut, Florida. As of today's date, we've made nine arrests. Uh, we anticipate additional arrests on this case. Two of the other individuals that we did arrest, uh, Rasheen Brooks and Michael Curcio. Again, their names were released in the press release we gave out along with the charges. Um, they are alleged to have provided drugs to the Tildens and Duvall. Um, the drugs were then forcibly given to this 16-year-old girl prior to uh, the date she was set up on. Uh, these drugs were additionally uh, provided in exchange for sex. The Tildens and Duvall have all been charged with sex trafficking, a uh, violation of Penal Law Section 230.34, which reads as follows. A person is guilty of sex trafficking if he or she intentionally advances or profits from prostitution by requiring that the prostitution be performed to retire, repay, or service a real or purported debt. Again, the, uh, the food and shelter that they were providing this girl uh, to live. Uh, it's a Class B felony, punishable up to, by up to 25 years in prison. Based on our investigation, we feel that there are other victims of these individuals out there. Um, as such, we uh, requested this press release, uh, uh, or press conference today. Uh, in search of any of these individuals, we'd ask that they come forward uh, with any information that they might have. Um, they can contact the state police at 315-366-6000. Um, as I stated, with me today is uh, Captain Lincoln and Investigator Grant. Uh, Investigator Grant is assigned to the Oneida County Child Advocacy Center. Um, he was the lead investigator on this case.